Hey everyone, another video for you tonight. I'm going to be showing you how to use the offset function and what it's for. I'm going to go ahead and take um, a font that you like. And go ahead and create your word. And you can use images with this as well. It's not limited to just fonts. Now I'm using cursive and it's overlapping so we want to right click and hit well to make that one piece and because there's a dot in the eye I'm going to go ahead and group so I don't lose any pieces. And I like to always color my stuff in. Now if you go up here and I know it's hard to see. Right next to your trace button there's the offset button. Go ahead and click that while your image is highlighted and hit offset. And now you can see this new red line that's around my word and it's pretty th thick. I want it to come in a little more so I'm going to go over here and bring that down and that's the offset distance and when you bring that down it brings the lines closer to the word or image that you have. And once you're good, hit apply. And then again, I'm gonna move this for a second and group that just because that's how I am with stuff. And I will go ahead and color that in so you get the idea of what this does when you layer your vinyl just gives it a little more oomph, a little added dimension to a design, a little extra pizzazz, whatever you want to say. But it's pretty easy, um, simple to do, and, it, you know, it just enhances and brings your work to the next level. Um, and now if you wanted to what they call trap a word, you would do the same thing. Go to your offset again and bring in that offset distance till you were happy with it and then I would you know me group that and then I would do it again another offset around my offset bring it in a little more, that's good, apply. And then with this one I would highlight it all, right click and hit make compound path. And see now it's just an outline. Now if you got really, really, really close, that black line would sit right on this border of the pink. So I'm not wasting all that black. It's just sitting on the outside. And what I would do is I would put I would put the pink down first, and then I would lay the black right up against it. That way, uh, it trapped the word. Just another idea instead of wasting all this black. But and you know any way you want to do it is, you know, up to you and how you like it. I personally prefer doing it in the one bold rather than trapping but you know it's all personal preference and how you want to go ahead and do that but that's how you use the offset fun uh, function pretty easy simple and it just brings a design to the next level hope that helps as always thanks for watching